Hello, welcome back to another all-time favorite video. Favorite all-time, all-time favorite. Doesn't matter. This one is not easy. It comes down to two. But I had to make a choice. Um, when it comes down to magazine, black and white magazine, New Adams did some of his really good work, if not some of my favorite work in those black and white magazine, whether it is The Deadly Hands of Kung Fu or Dracula, you name it. So many. Okay? They they overshadow by his work in comic books like Batman, Detective. But some of my favorite are in the black and white magazine, no doubt, and his short run of covers in Deadly Hands of Kung Fu is awesome, okay? Not one bad one. Not one boring one. There's no such thing as a bad Neil Adams cover, right? Well, there might be a few here and there, but yeah, issue one. If you have never seen these books, Yeah, you, you're missing out, okay? Beautiful drawing. Yeah, maybe maybe this is best so that you can see the whole thing. Instead of holding it too close and then you can't see it, but that's issue one right there. Beautiful. Issue two. Yeah. Another beauty. Okay? But certainly, it's easy to not pick one or two in my opinion. Still great covers, but it's just the other cover are so much better that it's much easier to not pick those. Issue three, another good one. Look at that. Yeah. If you're a fan of martial arts, you know I'm a bigger fan of martial arts movies and TV shows than say Conan. So when I come down to uh, picking favorite Neil Adams black and white magazine it's easier for me to go to this series than say Conan or Savage Shorts of Conan right there you go yeah now that's the first three starting with issue four it get harder okay because this one whew, the color the yellow yeah David Carradine come on look at that just look at that okay yeah, just beautiful, so lifelike, right? That's New Adams for you. Billy Jack, I love this one too. The, another one, the the color of this one, the 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 one thing that's great about these covers are the action dynamic poses that New Adams drawn, right? Because it's just perfect. Just look at that. Yeah. Just stay at that for a little while. I'm telling you, it was getting it get harder and harder and harder, right? And now I'm down to the final two. This was a tough one, okay? This is the runner up, even though there was part of me that wanted to pick this one is my favorite because it is a beautiful drawing. Yeah. Just look at Bruce Lee. Now, part of me wanted to pick this one because you know of the the black cover, harder harder than heck to find in high grade. And I have this one near mint. Yeah, you know me. Oh, beautiful! I try not to let the bias of being such a tough book to find in high grade play into my final decision even though no doubt it's a beautiful uh, picture frame black cover right beautiful drawing beautiful color just stunning design yeah but ultimately this one is the winner as far as my all-time favorite Neil Adams Deadly Hand of Kung Fu magazine cover because it is such an iconic scene in the movie. Yeah, I'm sure many people will agree. 
plus it has that beautiful green that you don't see often in many covers regardless if it is comic books or magazine look at that drawing this book is also insanely insanely difficult to find in high grade okay look at that yeah absolutely another near mint copy yeah you know me you know how I roll so yeah here we go let me know some people some people may pick this one I can understand trust me it was not an easy decision but I think those two are most likely the people's choice right anyhow that's it for this episode of all-time favorite thanks for watching Bye-bye.